the Hopkins and Show Truck. I'm here with Tommy Joe Martins of Alpha Prime Racing. Tommy, it's good to be back out here at Daytona, see you out here, it's a bunch of smiling faces. Can you tell me how excited are you? Now you got you got three cars out here. How excited are you to start get started with this 2023 season? Uh, we're, we're very excited. Uh, obviously, our team has grown quite a bit. Uh, I now have two of these haulers that were standing between uh, carrying three cars down here to Daytona. So it's been a massive undertaking. Uh, we've just got a lot of really good people. I mean, that's why we're able to pull it off. So we're about to find out kind of where all that hard work in the winter has put us. So I, I think everybody's really just anxious. Sponsors are anxious, the drivers, the crew, everybody's really ready to get going. you, you got some big names. Jeffrey Earnhardt is one of them. Can you tell me what's the what's the schedule look like for those guys? Do you do you have any plans to you know do you do you know what the full time schedule for any of these drivers are going to be? Yeah, I mean I think our 45 car really is more of a kind of an all star car with a lot of different drivers um, running kind of partial schedules. Uh, rookies, guys like Roger Carruth who's coming back, Leland Honeyman who's making his first starts in the Xfinity Series. Uh, Sage Karam, who ran so well for us last year. Uh, Stephen Parsons, who ran so well for us last year. Got everybody jumping in. Cesar Baccarella, our co-owner, uh, my co-owner and the team, uh, running a partial schedule. So that's kind of a part-time deal there um, that kind of winds up being a full-time car. Our 44 car is really dedicated to Jeffrey Earnhardt. Really, we, we're, we're planning for him to run a full season. There's a couple primaries out there that still need to get sold, but we're really confident we're going to wind up closing the gap on that, so we're not really that worried. I, I plan on Jeffrey being in the car full-time uh, for sure in the 44. And then the 43, Ryan Ellis is really the primary driver in that car. He's going to wind up running about 25 or 26 races with maybe a couple extra races we've got to sell there. But we're, we're really confident with kind of where our program's at here going into the year. Do you know what tracks you think you'll have Raja back or Sage Karam? Yeah, so Raj is going to be making his debut uh, for us next week at, uh, at Auto Club Speedway. And I know Sage is going to be hopping in the 45 car at Coda here in a few weeks. And, and Tommy, this team, I mean, it seems like it's growing a lot. But in the Xfinity Series, it seems like these new teams are really growing. I mean, how can you just talk about, like, this tr the stress behind team ownership? I mean, you used to be, you, you've done it, done it for a while. Can you talk about the stress behind it, but also the reward that comes with it? Yeah, I mean, the stress primarily happens here at the beginning part of the year. There's so many unknowns, right? I mean, there's new faces on your team. you got new guys, um, new mechanics, new pit crew members, new spotters, drivers, sponsors. I mean, there's so many unknowns as you kind of head into a year. And then over the course of a year, you kind of figure it out. So I think that's the thing that I, I take comfort in is I feel like we've been pretty adaptable. Really, Stephen Parsons wasn't on my team at the beginning of last year and wound up being probably one of the one of the best moves we made all year. So you kind of go into a year with a plan, and I think you kind of have to understand that to be successful in this business, you got to be able to adapt on the fly. Um, I feel like we got really good drivers. I mean, that's what we really hung our hat on is people that we really trusted behind the wheel of our race cars um, and, and young talent and, and making sure we also had the sponsorship that we wanted to be able to run the program we wanted to run. And so I feel really comfortable with it. It's just here at the beginning of the year, there's always nerves. There's always nerves of... I, I just tell my guys all the time, you know, I want you guys to be confident, but at the same time, I have so much respect for all the other people in the garage area. And when you create a team, you're really trying to put somebody out of a job. I mean, when we create this 43 team and run a third full-time car, there's only 38 spots on the grid. There can only be so many of us out here. So we're all fighting for it. There's 44 cars here this weekend, and I expect there to be 40 or 41 cars showing up for that beginning stretch of races here uh, as we kick the year off. And then it generally kind of funnels down into what is the main core of the series. So you just really got to come out guns blazing. You really got to come out uh, as prepared as you possibly can be to try to establish yourself in points and really set yourself up to have a successful season. Tommy, I take I thank you for the time you've taken with me, and I wish you luck for this season. Yeah, thanks a lot. Hey everyone, Zane Smith, driver number 38.4 for Front Row Motorsports. Be sure to subscribe to Front Stretch on YouTube.